I am absolutely drenched. To the untrained eye, there could be nothing resting on the leaves behind us. But in actuality, there lies a venomous serpent that's well camouflaged with its environment. On this month's episode of Dragon Tales, we're going to take a closer look at one of Singapore's native serpents, the Waggler's Pit Viper. In the lush forest of Singapore, we've had the luxury to come across some amazing serpents. But nothing would have prepared us for this exciting encounter with a mating pair of Waggler's Pit Viper. These snakes exhibit sexual dimorphism. The males and females look entirely different. Look at how this female completely dwarfs the male. You will also notice differences such as the color of their scales and eyes, as well as their individual patterns. We've been shooting these wagglers for a while now, but they never fail to impress. Unlike most reptiles, pit vipers take a page out of our playbook when it comes to reproduction. With an adaptation of giving birth to live young, instead of laying eggs, the females ensure the survivability of their species by negating the effects of predation from other animals such as this monitor lizard. Being an nocturnal species, these vipers are more active when darkness engulfs the night sky. Regular pit vipers can have litters of between 15 to 50 neonates. But unlike mammals, these little noodles will have to fend for themselves. So how do these serpents get around? What do they eat? Vipers are notoriously successful ambush predators. They'll lie in wait for days, weeks even, with their prehensile tail wrapped around a tree branch. Paired with heat sensing pit organs between their eyes and nostrils, vipers take aim at any unsuspecting prey that crosses its path. The results? Are a deadly dose of neurotoxic venom injected by these front fanged serpents that disables the nervous systems of its prey. The Waggler's Pit Viper is just one of over 60 species of snakes that we have here in Singapore. I've certainly found a newfound respect for our local species since I've started this journey of filming reptiles. There are just so many incredible snakes that I've only recently discovered and I hope someday I'll be able to cover them all in a future Dragon Tales.